everyone. Hope you guys are having a great day today. If you're here, I'm imagining you are trying to study for fun and engineering interviews and you may be struggling to find good resources online that helps you find the right questions and the solutions for those questions. My motive behind creating this playlist on YouTube is to help other people that are studying for fun and engineering interview questions, sort of expose them to questions that are generally asked by FANG or top tech companies, as well as sort of give my take on how I've studied for front end engineering interviews as well as algorithmic interviews and provide some tips and tricks along the way. My only ask is if you found the video helpful, please do press the like button below and leave a comment. That would be super, super highly appreciated. Alrighty, so for this problem, let's first build out the two trees that we wanna actually find a corresponding node for. So we'll have the first tree here. So we'll just be div tree one with div with the class of a row uh, container. And then we'll have another uh, few divs in here, which we can call them div rows uh, times three, because we want to create about three of these divs. And then each of these divs can have a row text inside of them. And we also want to duplicate that three times. So here's our tree one. We'll just duplicate this twice. So now we also have tree two. And I'll just make this slightly bigger so it's easier to sort of follow. And let's make the middle row our target for now. So we can just give it an ID called target. It doesn't really matter what the content is for the target. Um, all we care about is finding the corresponding row in the other tree, given the trees are identical. So we can just even delete the everything in there and change the text to maybe say, you found me. And that's it for our HTML setup. So now we can get into the actual JavaScript of it. So to solve this problem, we need to build a function that finds the corresponding node between two trees. So let's call that function So the corresponding node will take in a tree A, tree B, and then the target node that we are looking for. And let's just call this so we can sort of set things up as expected, so we have tree A, tree B, and target, and let's define these values. So const tree A equals to document dot get element by ID, um, and then we can just reference our tree A, tree one here, I guess, I call it tree one. Uh, and then we do tree B, and then also the target, so tree B, target, target is just called target, and tree B is called tree two, here. So that should be good for our test case. And now to build a function. So how do we want to actually do this? So the best way to do this is to just create two stacks. So first stack will keep track of tree one and the second stack will keep track of tree two. And we, what we want to do is we want to iterate through tree one's children and then look at the current value of the child that you found and compare it to the target value that we are looking for. And if those values match, then we found our target. Uh, while we're doing this, we actually also do the same exact thing for tree two within the same loop. And um, given that they're identical DOM structures, uh, when we find the target for tree one, we also know that tree two is found, target is found as well. So we will just return that. So let's build that up right here. So we'll have stack stack A is tree A. And then we'll have stack B equals to tree B. And now we just want to iterate through stack A. So we'll do while stack A dot length. So remember right now stack A is just essentially the entire DOM structure contained in, inside of a, an array. So we want to keep track of the current popped value. So we'll just do const current a equals to stack a dot pop. So what this will do is it'll actually remove the last item from the stack. And there's only one item in the stack right now, which is tree a. It'll remove the last item. And then what we want to do is we'll say if current a equals to target, 
and we'll do strict equality here. If it equals to target, we can return the corresponding node from stack B. And how do we do that? Well, we actually do exactly the same thing. We do current B here and we reference stack B. And now given that the, the trees are identical and we found current A based off of the target, we can just return current B. Um, but there's a problem here. We, we've only iterated through the main tree. There hasn't been anything about the children, like the container or the rows. So now we have to worry about that case, uh, which should be pretty straightforward. So there's two ways to sort of build this out. The first way is the simpler way is using the uh, spread operator. So you can do stack A, dot push, and then all you want to push is the current A, dot children, and just spread them out. And then you want to do exactly the same thing for stack B because we are iterating through stack A and stack B simultaneously. And that's it, that should do it. So we can first test this out. Let's just make sure it works. So target here should be um, tree to this div you found me. So let's run this. And we did return the div. It's um, an object right now in this, in this console, but you can actually just return the child, sorry, the text content. So let's run this again. And we did find the corresponding node, so it works. The alternative, if you don't want to use the spread operator here, is you can do something like this. You can say current a dot child nodes for each child. So we'll get stack a dot push child. And then we can do the identical thing for current b. Uh, and just update to stack B and this should also work. And there we go, we found the corresponding node. If you guys found this video helpful, please do press the like button below and leave a comment as it really helps the channel grow. And I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Thank you.